Good day everyone. So this is Wear Industries first YouTube video. Um, I'm Ech, as everyone knows, and this is my beautiful wife Lenik. Uh, we've been married now almost a year. May 15th will be a year from today. Um, so going there, um, yeah, so this is us. Ich, Lenik, get familiar with that. Over to you, my wife. Okay. So we prepared a bunch of questions, uh, set up a list to help us keep on track because my lovely husband has a tendency to get carried away and miss the point. So um, question one would be, what motivated us to start Hoya Industries? Well, in the beginning of 2020, um, January to be exact, um, after December and um, where I was working, we... We had a December break over Christmas and New Year. So the 1st of December, 2nd, I think we started on the 3rd of, of January um, in 2020. One of my friends, he came to the office where I was working and um, he told me about the fact that he just bought a new plane. And he was about 65. So that was for me very strange that a person at his age was very excited to buy a new plane just to retire and what do you do with that? And it had me thinking, um, do I really want to carry on working um, the nine to five thing till the day that I'm 65 and then start living or um, should we start something? So that was basically the motivation. We knew that, um, or I knew on that stage that I don't want to keep on working till I, you know, get gains and can't walk anymore and now want to start living. So we decided, or I decided to tell the Nick about it. And I came home uh, that evening and I told her, listen, love, um, we've got a problem. Um, I'm 35 years old. I need to change something. I've, I had a very successful career, um, but I was working for a boss and you are the rat racing, uh, not spending a lot of time at home, always away. Um, we have a little daughter, not spending a lot of time with her. I'm on the road all the time. And I knew for a fact that I don't want to live that life till the age of 65 or even 63 for that matter. We need to change something. So I came back home and I told her, my love, um, we need to start thinking about something because I'm going to resign in March. Uh, because around about March every year is Easter weekend and normally we take leave and we go to the beach and spend a week or a week and a half there and come back and then join the rat race again and I told her this year 2020 uh, when we take leave I'm actually going to resign um, so we need to start thinking about a business uh, something that we can do um, to sustain ourselves and grow into something and we didn't actually know what to do. Um, and yeah, we started, we, we brainstormed a bit. And I'm actually very good with cooking. And she's very good with admin. So between my brains and her abilities and skill sets about admin and um, financial management in her, in her side, um, we just started to come up with a solution. And we started a source company. And yeah, we started small. Uh, I used to sell to people from work, uh, customers I see, not really growing a lot. And yeah, and then as we all know that uh, COVID-19 hit us Easter weekend, March in 2020. You jumped a few. I was I'm supposed so to ask you, with the COVID-19 pandemic taking place, how did that affect our plan to start our own business? Because obviously we had a plan to both resign in April, but yes, the COVID did have an effect with everything happening in the world. Yeah, that was a big one. Um, so that did us hard, eh? Um, we, we both, um, we had a substantial income a month, so we could basically live free if you can put it like that, um, we had enough money to buy a lot of groceries. We had enough money to go to uh, the beach, uh, to the ocean side at least three times a year. Um, and 
and we knew that should we start our own, we, our own company that some of that is going to change and we we were in a comfort zone of living that standard of life and we knew that yeah we're not going to do that we are very adventurous we go on hiking trips camping trips down to the beach um entertain a lot of friends and um, i'm a biker so we like to go uh, spend a lot of time on a bike um, a weekend away on a bike so we knew that that's going to stop totally and then we still decided to resign um that year and then COVID hit us and we decided okay fine let's not do that um it's, it's unfamiliar waters um firstly now i had to come home i had to work from home lenica herself um she was working maybe two or three times a week and if she went into the office maybe half a day so her salary was down to maybe less than a half uh, my salary went down to a third of my income and we hadn't made a choice uh, or we keep living this life that we, we we couldn't live the standard of life that we were living so we are basically in a in a throat grip, what what should you do? Um, so, due to the fact that we started working on the source from Jan till March, April, uh, there was a bit of a footprint there already. And luckily, what happened, or in our circumstances, luckily what happened is a lot of the restaurants closed down. So you were only allowed to do takeaways. Um, you couldn't do a sit down or anything. So that was a breakthrough for us because the quality product that you made. Um, actually gave people the ability to have restaurant quality food at home that they made themselves. So yeah, so we, we didn't think, okay, fine, we're still going to resign. We're going to carry on. Um, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of um, frustration in that area uh, for circumstances. Um, we couldn't pay rent for two months. Um, luckily, our landlord said, okay, that's he understood. He understood, so. yeah, he understood that whole issue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with with the whole thing, because I thought, okay, fine, let's do the first month to second month of COVID and see where it goes, and maybe we can start going back to work. And it did happen in a in a, in a sense that okay, now I'm not working full time from home. I'm going one week out of three weeks. I go to the office. There was a bit of leverage there. Okay, fine, but we still couldn't get around. You know, you have to pay your rent, you have to pay your vehicles, you have to pay the school, you have to buy groceries, you have your your bonds, everything that needs to be carried out, and you still need to do all of that. And we just couldn't do that with the the, the, the physical, um, the money that didn't come salary in. Reduction. The sal salary reductions was insane um, because you, you are used to that income. And it's not that, okay, fine, we're living in COVID, we're still going away weekends, and, and, and. We, we just couldn't do that. And yeah, June, July, um, we made a decision that we we are going to draw a line um, because it came to a point where the source business that we started um, actually started to expand. And um, we saw that when I went that week to the office, um, we are actually losing money. So it became self-sustainable in COVID. Um, so we decided, okay, fine, we're going to draw the line. Uh, we're both going to resign and we're just going to focus fully on the source and how we can develop that and grow that into a sustain sustainable, uh, good business. And that is what we did. Okay, so that was where we were. Um, where are we now currently? Okay, where we are now. So now we are fully unemployed after a year and about three months and we are fully sustainable through the source so we do a lot of promotion work on that um, and the reason for the youtube channel why we are only starting now is to um, basically just add on to that promotion work so some of the people that has been following wear industries from the beginning they will know that um, we used to, uh, every week we will upload on our Facebook page, we will upload a, a short, brief wheat video from food that you can make with or with other sources, uh, restaurant quality that you can do at your home, your own kitchen with not a lot of ingredients. 
Um, and easy step-by-step -step instructions. Yeah, so it's really in detailed uh, videos. Unfortunately, all of them were, there's one, I don't even think we uploaded it. Um, all of them were in Afrikaans. And due to the fact we're doing the YouTube thing, so we're going to do all of those videos from the first one right through to the last one. We're going to start doing in English. Okay. So because there was a lot of viewers that asked, um, they can't understand uh, the ingredients, the herbs, um, the lingo. They can't understand it because in South Africa, we've got a real diverse um, civilization. So there's a lot of Swanas and Kozas in Zimbabwe. And so there's a lot of people here that don't really understand English, Afrikaans, but they do understand English. So that is the main focus. So we actually launched the YouTube thing, I think about seven months ago. I I can't, I can be mistaken. Um, so we, we wanted to start doing it in, in um, English, but we didn't, we didn't ever have the time to sit down and do a proper introduction video to our drive, to our, 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 our venture, you know, where we are going, what we are doing, what is the purpose of Warrior Industries, how we connect with people, uh, and what drives us. Um, so it's not only a, a cooking channel, we're not going to do a cooking channel as in that sense. It's more like in depth, our, our lives, ourselves, how everything influences us. Um, yeah, so that is where you are now. So, yeah, in the middle of, of well, we grew to this point and now it's time for the second step. And then last on the list is where would we like to go? Well, basically for every startup company, um, when you start, you have a vision of where you want to go. And the core principle stays the same, but there's a lot of stuff that fits in and changes and molds to a point. So for 2022, we started 2020 for 2022. So basically the whole of, of 2020 and the whole of 2021, we worked on a footprint for the sources, uh, get it established, um, get it in, in our hometown, Rustenburg, established a great footprint. We've got a lot of lovely feedback from that. So firstly, what we want to do is we want to grow that. So it's time for us to expand to uh, bigger cities, uh, bigger outlets, distributed better, okay? Then that's the first thing, to work on the sources, distribution. Then secondly, we would like to start our own restaurant. Um, so we are currently busy with that. Um, we had uh, a drawing. We, we came up with a drawing for the whole restaurant and all that and other, we do want to do like a small business center so that is all on paper set out everything we have a property in mind to do that we have there's a couple of stuff that we brainstormed um, to the point where we are actually ready to do that but we first want to do it in 2022 so everything is just on hold on that for this this moment so for the rest of this year that end of november december we would just want to focus more on the sources and then I'll say about so March 2020, we are still going to focus a lot on the sources, expand that range and focus a lot of energy and time on that. Then middle of 2022, we might um, buy the property and start developing on that to start a restaurant. And then I don't know, as I said, you have your end game, your end plan, but you don't know everything going to that. So I don't know on this stage if we will maybe expand on a restaurant field and I don't know if we'll set up a new franchise or an, another restaurant in another town. It all depends on how much publicity you get from that. Um, and then lastly, our whole drive is on the end we would like after five years, so in actually 2020, 2020 to 2025, um, after five years, because that was part of our game plan when we started, we're only going to give ourselves five years and um, then we're going to cut off. 
Um, so we are really working very hard on this stage. After five years, we're going to cut off and we're going to buy ourselves a catcher meringue. And we also have a few of that in mind. Um, so we're going to buy ourselves a catcher meringue and we're going to start sailing. Um, so a lot of people will think that is a crazy idea. Um, yeah, it's not the easiest thing to do. You need a sustainable business, so that is what we're working on. You need a sustainable uh, income that we are working on. So everything that we are doing is working to that. And to our end goal. Uh, to our end goal. And eventually then pick up everything. Um, we will not sell anything. The sources will be managed. The restaurants will carry on. If we have got other properties, that will carry on. The only thing is we will not be directly uh, managing them. We will be um, out on the ocean uh, on a catamaran sailing. Uh, the YouTube channel will then trans translate from what we are doing now. From So it's just another venture. Um, so it's a venture on venture on venture. So here we are busy with sources now. The next venture is starting a restaurant. The next venture is, you know, it's just a carrying on, carrying on. Um, so yeah, um, then lastly, since this is our first YouTube video, we would just like all our friends and family to support us, um, share it with everyone. And then if you can, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's going to be a lot of lovely content coming regarding very, very great recipes um, that I make myself. And the Nika's got a couple of recipes herself, really, really good uh, quality food not very expensive food, easy to make. And that is whole purpose for this is to start with that so that we can give that knowledge to everyone to start enjoying good quality restaurant food at your own house in your own comfort zone. Have a nice day, everyone.